Hi guys, well today we're going to talk about the relationships between the planets, that's called aspects, the geometrical relationships. So depending on how they relate to one another, whether they are next to one another, or they're across from one another, or if they're at right angles from one another, there's a whole list of aspects, and each aspect has a meaning. Uh, if it's a conjunction where they're close to one another, that means that the energies are blended. So you have two people together, they go together like a diatom, like uh, two oxygen molecules, they're always together. You don't, you don't take them apart. So that is just a very simple way of looking at um, the planets and how they work in your chart. But uh, like I said, there are 4,000 little bits of information in one natal chart. So it gives you a lot of work to do. And um, and just when you think you've seen it all, I've been looking at my chart for over 50 years. Uh, and even now, I look at it and I go, how the heck did I miss that? But the good news is that uh, your chart will have a theme, all right? So that theme resonates and um, it go, it's repeated and they call it echoing, repeating. It doesn't matter. So you can't mess up too badly um, as long as you get an idea. So if the theme shows up once, you know it's going to echo more than one time in the chart. So um, themes are important, but the relationships of the strong points in the chart, which are your angles, you know, how the cusp houses 1, 4, 7, and 10, but also from the planets. All right, so thank you so much. Until next time.